Okay, new topic. I take a general graph and I take a collection of edges, no two of which share an endpoint. That's called a matching. Uh, this might be a set of uh, co-ed students and uh, the edges represent friendship and now the matching represents roommates. So I'm going to put two co-eds in the same room if they're friends and uh, no more than two co-eds in, in the same room. So it, it makes sense to try to find the maximum matching. Now here is a matching in red. Can you add to this any edge which is, has not been selected and keep it a matching? You're all supposed to say no. So this matching is maximal. It cannot be extended. Is it maximum? Could you change the matching and increase the size? Its current size is six. Do you see a matching of size seven? This one is sufficiently small that I hope everybody in the room says, oh yeah, if I change it this way and this way, I can, I can squeeze in a, an extra one. But you, you really have to change the edges that are given. Now, you see, that has the same flow, the same concept behind it as like augmenting paths. It's trivial when you have a flow and then you can just race across with another augmenting path, all edges in the forward direction. But in general, you have to make modifications which undo, using backwards edges, choices that you've already made. So you make full alterations, you make enhancements as well as withdrawals. Now, we won't uh, study this because it, it does uh, take us into slightly more advanced topics, but you can find maximum matchings in general graphs using the same kind of mathematics that you have for network flows. Now, you can actually do more than that. You can put weights on edges, and then you can talk about the weight of a matching, the sum of the weights on its edges. And it's much more complicated, but you can find the maximum weight edge matching in a general graph using this kind of mathematics. The algorithms are, are, are more complicated. And so those of you who go on to graduate school or advanced courses in ISYE or maybe even in math, you will learn about weighted matchings, much more complicated subject. <laughs>